Let's talk about the factorial. Definition. N factorial is the quantity denoted N with an exclamation mark, which is just defined to be N times N minus one, times n minus 2 all the way down until you reach 1. So you multiply all of these consecutive numbers from 1 up to n. To make sure we understand what this means, we also have to take care of the extremal values. So let's talk about the extreme values. So what would 1 factorial be? Well, it's going to be just 1. It's all the products it's a product of all the numbers from 1 up to n. In this case, n is equal to 1, so 1 factorial seems to make sense that that would be 1. So what does 0 factorial? Well, it's not entirely sure right off the bat what this means. However, we will define it to also be 1, and this is called the empty factorial or empty product. So here's a question. Why would we define it this way? Whenever you end up defining something, it's, it's usually for a reason. And we're going to be discovering some of these reasons as we continue. But the first that I want to highlight for you is for consistency. We want to extend what is a fairly natural definition of n factorial to the number 0. We want to do this in a way that feels consistent with what came before. So for example, n factorial is going to be n times n minus 1 factorial. And so 1 factorial, if we were going to extend this, we would want this to be equal to 1 times 0 factorial. But of course, we know that 1 factorial, quite naturally, is 1. And so in order for 1 to be equal to 1 times 0 factorial, 0 factorial would need to be 1. And I know this might still feel a little bit weird, but I also want to draw your attention to things of this sort that you've probably encountered before. So for example, what is this empty product? How do you multiply 2 times itself 0 times? We, for various reasons, already know and understand this to be 1. Uh, we'll talk more about 0 factorial in the future, and hopefully we will come up with several other reasons for why it might make sense. But now that we have defined um, our factorial, I do want to introduce product notation. When do you deploy product notation? When the numbers being multiplied can be indexed by the natural numbers 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. This is what it looks like. a sub k is going to be some kind of uh, number and it is going to be indexed by uh, these natural numbers as k ranges from 1 up to n. This guy is an uppercase pi. This k down here is called a dummy variable. Doesn't do anything but help us count. Sometimes it's like k or i or j. Um, you can use anything as a dummy variable. And, and here's what this means. This means a sub 1, whatever that might be, times a sub 2, whatever that might be, times a sub 3, times all the way up to a sub n. This is the product of a sub 1 up through a sub n. Let's do a couple of examples. Example, what is this going to be? Well, uh, we're going to count k ranges from 1 to n, and a sub k for all k is 5. So it's going to be a sub 1, which is 5, times a sub 2, which is 5, times a sub 3, all the way up to a sub n, which is 5. How many of these are there? There are n of them, so this is going to be 5 to the n. Here's another example. 
Here the dummy variable also appears both in the uh, things to be multiplied and underneath the pi. So what is this going to be? Well, um, what happens when k is equal to 1? We get the number 1. We multiply that uh, times what we get when k is equal to 2, which is 2. When k is equal to 3, 3, all the way up to k is equal to n. So this is a product notation uh, expression for the product of all the natural numbers between 1 and n, otherwise known as n factorial. Let's do another example. Here we're going to take the product of all k's as k ranges from 1 up to 0. Well, there are no natural numbers greater than 1, greater than or equal to 1, and less than or equal to 0. So this is going to be the empty product. This is going to be notation for the empty product. And last but not least, let's do something a little bit more complicated. These can get quite complex. Let's just do one. So this is going to be the product of all k squareds as k ranges from 1 to 3. So this is going to be 1 squared times 2 squared times 3 squared. And then we stop there. So 1 by 4 by 9, which is... This is your introduction to the factorial and product notation. Now we're going to use them.